Hey, what's up everybody? Retro Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to unbox, demo, and review this plug and play game drive right here off of Amazon. This is the Hyperbase Tiny 64 gigabyte RetroBat flash drive. This plugs into your PC via USB connection, and it has over 8,000 plug and play retro games ready to be enjoyed. So I'm going to unbox this with you guys today. We're gonna to plug this into my PC, and I'm gonna comb through the entire collection. So we'll go collection by collection, we'll see what the layout is like, we'll see if there's tons of duplicate titles on here, and we'll also test everything out. So you'll get a great understanding as to what exactly this truly offers. Let's dive into it. All right guys, so here we are inside of our Hyperbase Tiny Portable 64 gigabyte flash drive. And this is running, of course, RetroBat. So this includes 8,379 total games on this entire setup. And we're gonna kick everything off collection by collection here. We'll dive into each one, see exactly what is truly offered here across the board. But our all games list is gonna be our master list. So we'll jump in here, we'll see what the layout is like. Everything listed is in alphabetical order. So you can see the layout inside here. And you can see we have a lot of Game Boy Advance titles right in front of us at the moment. But if I scroll down, we'll be able to see a little bit of everything here. So we've got some DS titles in here. We've got, what's this one? This is PSP. So it does seem to have a wide range of collections. Now, in terms of the layout here, this is actually one of my favorite themes. This is the Art Flix theme. You can get it for Botticera or Retrobat. It's an awesome setup. Now, I'm not crazy about the way that they've scraped the data here. So when I say scraped, I mean, of course, all of the images that they have populated in here. We literally have pretty much the same image across the board for each of these. You can see right here, this Game Boy Advance title. We have the same image of the box art over here on our list on the right hand side, same image right here in the center of our screen. And then same thing again, down at the bottom left corner. So just not the um, tidiest of layouts here in my opinion. It's decent, it serves its purpose, but I like to see some different graphics across the board. Um, I understand that we can't have video previews for each title, just given the fact that we're on that smaller capacity flash drive, but the same image across the board doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But if the games work, the games work. Obviously, we're not going to be too picky about this. So let's back out. Let's dive into our first collection, Atari Lynx right here, 82 titles. And we'll just take a quick peek. I love the background graphic there. And that's pretty consistent with this Artflix theme, which I believe you can change as well. You may have limitations in terms of how many themes you could add because of the smaller capacity drive, but it does look very nice here. Again, same images across the board in all three locations, but not a huge deal. So we'll back out of that collection. Let's take a look at the next collection down. This is Game & Watch with 59 games. And I'll jump into each one. I'm not going to show you guys every single title in here just because it'll take forever and a day, but I'll give you a uh, good understanding as to what it looks like within each collection. So this one's the wrong orientation, but you know, it, it kind of is what it is there. I understand they have to make it fit however they can. So we'll back out. Nintendo Entertainment System, 1,000, uh, no, 1,863 games. The font is so small, it is a little challenging to see from where I am, but I'm going to get in there nice and close. So, again, 1,863 titles for Nintendo Entertainment System, which is a massive collection. So we have box art for each of these as well. A little bit easier to read for this particular collection, I think, but still the same graphic across the board. That's a massive amount of titles in here. I'm going to be on the lookout for duplicates. I'm not seeing any obvious duplicates right off the bat here, but with these, you know, insane numbers, I do anticipate that we likely will hit some uh, duplicates at least somewhere in here. But so far, Nintendo Entertainment System looks very good. So this is a different version here. We see two Aladdins, but they are different versions, so I'm okay with that. We have some uh, foreign release titles as well. It's not just going to be your American titles, so that is why we have that higher number. All right, so we'll back out a Nintendo Entertainment System. Next one is Original Game Boy with 1,174 games. We'll take a look in here. And this is going to be another one where we have a lot of foreign releases as well. So you'll have your um, American releases, and then you'll have a lot of Japanese titles as well. So it seems to be a, a pretty sweet selection. Again, no obvious uh, duplicates so far anyways. 
but expect there to be at least some and if there's a abundance of them I'll definitely shout it out I'm okay with a few duplicates here but we don't want to see you know especially with a smaller drive we don't want to see a massive amount of duplicates in here all right we'll back out of that one Super Nintendo's over here with 768 games we'll take a look in Super Nintendo oh and they haven't actually scraped this one so maybe they ran out of space on this smaller capacity flash drive but you can see nothing populates in here in terms of scraped data be interested to see how many um how many gigabytes are left over though because it shouldn't take much for this to be scraped maybe we'll scrape it for them at the end if we have enough room on this all right we'll back out of super nintendo we have game boy color with 1028 titles we'll take a look in here i always liked the background image for game boy color just having that yellow pokemon style um game boy color console there and then if you can get one of these with videos, obviously this one's a smaller capacity, so videos would just take up too much space, but having the video populate in there, video preview, I mean, populate into that little console there, it looks really cool. That's a major part of why I love this theme here. So, good selection. All right, we'll back out. And that little jump there was me holding down my analog stick, so that wasn't an issue with the actual drive. Uh, so Game Boy Advance, 1,802 games, another massive collection. Always like this layout as well with the Game Boy Advance console there. So some of these we have like a screenshot, like this title here, Two Games in One, Brother Bear and Lion King. We have a screenshot rather than box art, just a little inconsistency. Just going to shout it out as I see them though. Um, these kind of serve no purpose in my opinion because you likely have the original um, versions as well so it kind of serves as a duplicate here when you have those two-in-one games with emulation but it is what it is it's, I'm, I'm nitpicking a little bit but again I'm gonna shout them out and we do seem to have some duplicates here like this one they're not the same you know collection but they do have the same game in there so both of those have the Nemo game So that's the only reason I say having the two-in-one doesn't really make sense because there are a lot of duplicates in, in them, um, but not a huge deal. All right, we'll back out of that one. Nintendo DS. This is actually one of the larger Nintendo DS collections that I've seen on a setup like this. 643 games, so you got to check this out. And I've been very vocal about the fact that I'm not a big DS gamer when it comes to emulation. Even in general, I, I just didn't spend a lot of time on the uh, DS. Alright, so we'll back out of this one. Here we have Game Gear, 405 titles in here. Pretty nice layout. I like the way that the box art does uh, make it easy to select your title in this collection. Some of the older ones, it makes it a challenge. Like this one's not an easy one because we have the screenshot rather than the box art. So unless you go down to the bottom and you actually read the title down there, um, it's not as easy to choose as you know something like this where it populates the logo for the title in there pretty boldly. All right, so we'll back out of that one. Here we have Sega Dreamcast, 72 games. So these take up a lot more space these titles here than you know game gear or game boy advance or any of the collections that we've dove into so far um but let's see what we have in here for dreamcast this is definitely probably the most advanced collection in here actually we saw some psp so still dreamcast and psp are pretty well aligned there in terms of performance um, and the demands of a setup so take a look here we have again what was it 72 titles all right take a look at what we have Confidential Mission is a great title. Crazy Taxi 1 and 2, of course. Dead or Alive 2, good titles. Dynamite Cop, got to have that in there. I'm glad it is. This is a great game. Jeremy McGrath, Supercross 2000. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Don't have the original one, which is kind of odd, but is what it is, I suppose. NFL Blitz, got to have Blitz, oh, Blitz 2000. That's a great one. Love the Blitz games. 
Sega Bass Fishing 1 and 2. Silent Scope, awesome game. Got some Sonic in here. Sega Tennis. Test Drive, The Grinch. Virtual Tennis. This one's not scraped over here. World Series Baseball. WWF Royal Rumble, one of my favorites. So some good titles. They're definitely missing some of the um, some of my favorites personally, but you know I don't expect pre-configured drives to always um, you know hit a home run with everybody. So I'm sure for somebody out there that is the perfect selection of titles. It's it's pretty decent. It's, it's not great, but it's decent. So here we have Sega Naomi, which we have 53 games in here, and we may have some crossover between Dreamcast and Naomi. That's pretty common. We'll just jump in here briefly. Um, so these are a little bit harder to choose because it's pulling the box art and some of them are foreign releases, but that's, so Crazy Taxi obviously cross over there. Dead or Alive 2, some crossover. Um, what else do we have? I believe we had that one over there too. Giga Wing 2 might have been in Dreamcast. Marvel vs. Capcom 1, uh, excuse me, 2. Power Stone 1 and 2, great selection. House of the Dead 2, I'm glad to see that in there. Toy Fighters, cool. Uh, Virtua 10, oh, excuse me, Virtua NBA, awesome game. I always love the sports games from Sega, especially the arcade version. So Virtua Tennis, virtually the same exact version as Dreamcast for the most part. Uh, I mean, there's more options, I think, on Dreamcast since it was a home console release, but still really a... Um, very comparable gameplay experience. Same over here with WWF Royal Rumble. Slightly different, but pretty similar to say the least. All right, so we'll back out. Good selection in Sega Naomi. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket, 82 games here. Not gonna dive in depth into this one. Um, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 89 games over here. All right, uh, PSP, 193 games. So that is a massive amount of PSP games. Now. I always say this, but I would venture to say that we're going to find a lot of PSP mini games in here, which I'm okay with, but certainly worth mentioning. So we're definitely seeing some mini games, actually a lot of minis games here. And sometimes I say that and I have to eat my words because sometimes they will surprise you. But given the fact that we have a 64 gigabyte card, I think it's going to be mainly mini games. We'll see if we have like God of War um, or any of, or maybe uh, Ridge Racer. But yeah, we're seeing a lot of PSP minis. And pretty much all of them are PSP minis games. Yeah, so I don't know if I would classify this as true PSP. I would definitely make the distinction because, you know, if somebody buys this without really diving into it, which, you know, online you don't have the ability to really dive too in-depth into it, you're going to think of, like, you know, God of War, Ridge Racer, or these, um, you know, more mainstream popular titles, not so much of what we have in here. So... Um, you know, like Angry Birds is probably not what people are really thinking about when they when they think PSP uh, games. So we'll back out, but I'm, all of those are easy to emulate, so I don't have any doubts about that. Uh, Supervision here, 66 games, and we'll just briefly dive into this. Not a super popular collection, but I'm sure there's people out there that absolutely love this. All right, and we're back to our all games list. So we just went through everything that this has to offer. So. You know, it's not a massive amount of titles, but we kind of knew that going in, given the fact that it's only 64 gigabytes. But let's dive into some games, just make sure that everything's working properly. I didn't see tons of duplicates in there. Uh, so, I, I mean, all in all, it looks pretty good. So let's check out the performance here, and um, we'll jump out and talk about it. All right, guys, so before I actually go in here and test out games, I wanted to see if I could scrape the um, Super Nintendo collection because we noticed that it did not have any scraped data and I'll just show you guys it does scrape there is enough uh, room open on this drive in order to handle all the scraped data so it does look much better this way 
And notice how I put in here the logos on the right hand side as opposed to just putting in you know, the box art for the third time. I think it just looks much better this way. So you could totally go in here if you're OCD like I am and rescrape everything so it changes the layout a little bit. And I think it just looks way more um, appealing like this. So uh, I'm gonna dive into some gameplay demos here from a couple different collections. Let's get started. Pretty much. All right guys, so we just jumped out of the Hyperbase Tiny 64 gigabyte Retrobat flash drive. So first and foremost, this advertises over 8,000 retro video games, plug and play ready to go. Does it deliver on that? It 100% does. Uh, I tested out a bunch of games. I only showed you guys a handful here in this video in an effort to keep this video short and sweet. And everything that I tested out, I tested out probably 40 games or so. Everything ran perfectly on here. No issues. Now, that being said, there's not a lot that should be demanding or stressing your PC out on here. The most demanding collection to emulate on here would be Dreamcast, and you could dive into that collection pretty well on a Raspberry Pi 4, which is 4 gigabytes of RAM. I forget the speeds of a Raspberry Pi, but they're not impressive. So most of us are probably using a laptop, a desktop PC, or a mini PC for this all of which should have way more specs than what is even needed here. Now, I will say this, there are some drivers that you will need to install to have you know, the best performance possible on here. Uh, they are included though on the flash drive, so you can go through the files, locate them, download them right from there if you need to. I will say again though, uh, if you are already retro gaming on your PC, you probably already have these drivers. I already did, so I need, need to download them. Uh, which was nice, but if you do need to download them, they don't take long at all. We're talking about probably two minutes at the most. So, um, you know, if, check if you have them. If you actually go into the files here and you download them from the files and you already have them, your computer will let you know that. So then you can just kind of skip that part of the process. Now, in terms of accessing your games, diving into your games, we're using Retrobat here. Retrobat is very user friendly. You literally will just open up the Retrobat application. It'll load in in probably five seconds and you can dive right into all your games. I have a, um, it's a Xbox 360 style controller that's actually wired in. And as soon as I plug that in via USB connection, it picked up on it. I didn't have to map anything or do anything of the sort. So uh, very much plug and play, even if you do have to install a driver or two. So great experience there. The flash drive itself is high quality. I know that's a concern for some people. Um, this isn't an inferior product or anything that looks like it's going to, you know, crap out in a couple of days. It is a good quality flash drive, a little bit small. So that's good and bad. It's nice that it's compact, easy to store and travel with, easy to, you know, plug into your PC. But with that, of course, you know, it, obviously increases the risk of you being able to lose this or misplacing it. So consider that, but great experience here. Now let's talk about the games and game collections offered on here. 
The games that are offered on here, like I said, they're not super demanding. Um, Dreamcast would be the most demanding one. Dreamcast Collection actually has some good titles on here. It's actually pretty stacked. Uh, there's more titles that I would love to have access to, but that's the thing with plug and play pre-configured setups like this. You're not going to get 100% exactly what you would want. You're getting something that, you know, it's a take it or leave it sort of situation. At least initially, you can go in and customize things, but you know, obviously they aren't mind readers. They don't know exactly what everybody wants and everybody's different. You know, we all have different preferences. We are all into different titles, especially with retro gaming, which is such a broad, you know, type of gaming um, collections. So, you know, it's hit or miss with what's included on here, but there's some great options here with NES, Super Nintendo. A lot of people love those collections. If that's what you're looking for, they've got so many titles that fit into those collections. Uh, we also have Game Gear, which is a great one. I was going through Game Gear because unfortunately there's not Genesis or Master System on here. So Game Gear obviously has a lot of those same titles and there's also crossover between Game Gear and Super Nintendo. So, you know, you can definitely find a lot of great titles in there. Um, I'm also a big Sega Naomi fan. Love the arcade. I wish they had MAME on here. They don't though. Um, so, you know, Sega Naomi is probably your next best bet there. There's some great titles in there. They work very well. Uh, Dreamcast for me is one of my favorite collections, one of my favorite retro consoles. So that was a good collection. Again, there's some more titles I'd like to see, but I could add them myself if I really wanted to. Uh, so there's also Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Great selection of games there. Pretty much everything you could think of for those. They perform very well. Um, now everything is in 4-3 aspect ratio. I did change things for the demo here to 16-9 just in an effort to fill the screen. I know that drives some people crazy. I apologize if you're cringing over the 16-9, you know, stretched uh, aspect ratio today. It's simply just to fill the screen here on YouTube. Uh, most of those titles, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance especially, I'll play in 4-3 aspect ratio. But, you know, in all honesty, I don't think that we really lost any resolution quality by stretching today. So great experience on here. At the end of the day, this is $24.99, which is a really low price point. Obviously, it's a smaller capacity drive, but $24.99 with all these games on here, I think it's worth it. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for N64, you're looking for PlayStation 1, you're looking for, you know, MAME, this obviously isn't going to line up with that. You can see from the video exactly what this offers. So just kind of weigh out the pros and cons see what's included on here, what's not included, and see if it lines up with what you're looking for. Now, one thing worth mentioning here is I was very critical of the way that they scrape things on here. Uh, and Super Nintendo, they didn't scrape anything on. So I hope that they see this review video and they tidy things up a little bit because I actually scraped all of Super Nintendo. There's enough open space on the drive to accommodate all that scraped data. And when I scraped it, I scraped it much better than they did, in my opinion, of course. Um, the only thing I was critical of with their with the way they scraped everything is they literally use the same box art for every title three times over on each one. So if you looked at Toy Story for Game, uh, Game Boy Color, it was the same image you know, on this column, this column, and this column. And it just doesn't do you any good to have the same you know, image three times over on every screen. It's just obviously repetitive. It doesn't add anything to you know, what you're seeing. Visually, you know, I just don't think it's appealing. So I switched it up a little bit. I did a logo, box art, um, and then, you know, down at the bottom of the description, you could actually make it so it's a screenshot. You can make it so it's box art again. You can kind of customize all of that. And you do have the ability to go in and re-scrape everything. But I think that kind of defeats the purpose of then getting something that, you know, is plug and play ready to go, pre-configured. And they certainly should be scraping Super Nintendo so you don't have to do that yourself. It's easy to do. You do have to set up screen scraper if that's the scraper you decide to use. I actually have a video, which I'll put a link to it right up here at the top of your screen and in the description of this video. If you ever want to set up Screen Scraper, I have a great tutorial on how to set it up, how to go through your settings on there. Um, you know, it kind of walks through everything that Screen Scraper has to offer and the most efficient ways to use it. So uh, check that video out if you're interested. But, you know, at the end of the day, this definitely is a viable option. Just depends what you're looking for. If you want those older collections that this has, $24.99 is a great price point, and I think you'll end up with you know, a great experience in the end. So weigh out the pros and cons, see if it lines up with what you're looking for. So I'm gonna provide you guys with a link up here at the top of your screen, so you can just click over, get some additional information on this Hyperbase Tiny 64 gigabyte flash drive. I'll also provide you guys with a link in the description of this video as well. 
But shoot me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of it. If you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the videos. A huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.